The last time cholera reared its ugly head here, over 100,000 people were infected. More than 4,000 lost their lives, and now the disease is knocking on the door again. 13 cases have been recorded in border towns, and that's just a bus trip away from the capital, where overcrowding and poor sanitation mean any cases could spread like wildfire. When the devastating outbreak of 2008 hit, all this behind me was non-existent. This is one of the unplanned settlements that sprouted up in the capital city Harare in recent years. Because it's unplanned, there's no water reticulation here. Plus, it's in a swamp, making residents here more prone to waterborne diseases. Cases of diarrhea have jumped here, and that's jolted local authorities into action. <laughs> It's a tune that these volunteer community health promoters hope will catch on instead of the disease. A door-to-door -door campaign is helping spread the word of the impending danger. Some, however, know all too well the dangers. Precious Mapfuga is a survivor from 2008. Like many of her neighbors, she moved here to have a place to call her own, despite the dangers. There are no taps here yet. We fetch water from shallow wells and boreholes. We have been taught to treat that water and also to wash our fruits and vegetables before we eat them. The outreach programs are part of measures the city of Harare has implemented to avert another disaster akin to the one of seven years ago. In terms of managing cases, we will definitely not have... Uh, as many deaths as we had last year, definitely. And also our population is now, that, that awareness is now there. So they will present to the clinics much earlier uh, as compared to what they were doing last time. And once, once they do that, we should be able to, to manage them. Um, yeah, but the resources are available as compared to what was the planning in 2003. Despite the vast improvement in circumstances, they are not leaving anything to chance. We are treating all diarrhea cases with suspicion. And firstly, we are treating them for free. And then all the specimens are being sent to the laboratory for confirmation of cholera or for, for us to rule out that this, this is cholera. Of the 13 cases, there have been no deaths. A statistic authorities here hope will remain intact as health officials in Harare keep their fingers crossed. Farai Mokutuya, CCTV, Harare, Zimbabwe.